The Prime Minister says Canada is currently considering a request from the United States to do more in Iraq. Canada currently has 69 military advisors in Iraq helping in the fight against ISIS. Stephen Harper didn't reveal Washington's request in Parliament today or even in this country, but he did say he won't rule out further Canadian involvement. The CBC's Rosemary Barton has more from the United Nations tonight. Rosemary. Peter, the Prime Minister confirmed the ask today, but a senior government source tells CBC News there is no request, plan or intention to commit troops to combat. Thank you, Jerry, for that introduction. Speaking to a select group of American business leaders on the sidelines of his visit to the United Nations, Stephen Harper was asked what more Canada would be willing to do. We haven't ruled out anything. Um, say we need to have some additional debate within our government before we reach a final decision. Uh, but we're, uh, we're wanting to see this be successful. As for what more the United States wants of Canada, Harper would not get into specifics. The government says it has offered up 69 soldiers to advise Iraqis on the ground as well as equipment. And I called this meeting because we must come together as nations. The pressure for nations to do more is building. In a rare move, the Security Council opened its doors to all world leaders today to discuss how to combat groups like ISIS. Harper said Canada will continue to offer humanitarian aid and perhaps more critically, continue to fight radicalization within Canada aggressively. It involves the risks that individuals may return home with knowledge and experience gained in terrorist activities to motivate and recruit others and potentially to conduct attacks. The call for strong action came earlier from President Barack Obama, who said the priority now is quite simply to degrade and destroy ISIS. The only language understood by killers like this is the language of force. So the United States of America will work with a broad coalition to dismantle this network of death. Obama's blueprint on how to do that involves not just sheer force in the form of targeted airstrikes, but also cutting off funding to the militants and engaging young people in Arab and Muslim countries. Now, ultimately, the task of rejecting sectarianism and rejecting extremism is a generational task. That is the long game in the fight against extremism, but one this former ambassador says is critical to defining success. The risk out there, if you don't do something for the people themselves, you're going to create more insurgent for the next generation. So I think that's the critical issue. So the approach is, has to be political, diplomatic and military. The question now, what more will Canada do as part of this global fight? The Prime Minister says that will be debated in Cabinet and Parliament, and a decision will come soon. Peter. Rosemary Barton of the United Nations tonight. Thanks, Rosie.